How strong is head captain of the Gote 13 Yamamoto Genryu Sai Shigekuni? What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about how strong is Yamamoto from Bleach. Before we start the video, please subscribe to my channel and join my Discord server where we talk about anime, manga and power scaling. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Yamamoto Genryuji Shigekuni is the head captain of the Gote 13. He has been a head captain for a thousand years and even in, on his own words, there hasn't been a Soul Reaper stronger than him born in a, those one thousand years. That's why he's still the head captain. Yamamoto should pretty much scale to any feat in the whole series except the feats by the God Tears and Soul King Tear characters like Aizen, Yuha, um, Ichigo, Ryujugra. Before I go into his later feats, I want to go over why Thousand Blood War Yamamoto is the strongest version of him, why he didn't get weaker when he lost an arm. We see after the fake Rekure Town, Yama didn't get weaker, supported by Ukitake and Bleach Brave Souls. We also see so many statements that everybody trained, even uh, some statements saying all Soul Reapers trained. And Google himself says that as well that they train. Also to address young Yamamoto scaling, he should be weaker than Soul Society or Yamamoto since he should have gotten stronger even if he didn't train, as well as we see that weaker Chojiro fought alongside him, um, and a stronger Chojiro got no div by Soul Society arc base Ichigo, and now that Yuho from 1000 years didn't have the almighty, as well as in episode 7 of 1000 Blood War anime, we see that young Chojiro could badly scar young Yamamoto, as well as fight alongside him against a younger Yuha. Yeah, and the strong Chojira, like I said, got like noted by base teaching in the Soul Society arc. Now that we established that Thousand Blood War uh, is the strongest uh, Yamamoto, he, uh, he has ever been now, we can get into his more prominent scaling. In the first invasion of Thousand Blood War, get so many statements that Yamamoto is the strongest captain and should put him above Unahana who has the statement of being stronger than anyone at the time between the two invasions. We should put her above the likes of Shunsi, Yukitake, Kisuke, Mayuri who all have a uh, scaling to a royal guard. We also learn in Kenkran World that Thousand Blood Varshika Yamamoto is still stronger than Tokinada, Byakuya, Yoruichi, Kisuke, and pretty much everybody in Kenkran world. In his Bankai, he should scale well above the first, in, uh, first invasion Yuha, or maybe like around the level of like base Yuha, since so like Yuha was 100% sure he can beat Yamamoto, and Yuma had to steal. Um, Banke from heavily fatigued Yamamoto. Also, he should scale above all the uh, squad zero except Ichibei. In his Banke, he's capable of destroying Soul Society, which is stated in the anime and manga multiple times. And Yamamoto also confirms it himself. Now, how good is this fit? To calculate that, we first have to find the size of Soul Society. And for the low bolt version of it, we can use the size of uh, Grammy's Galaxy Room for it. Now you might be like wondering why are we gonna use like Grammy's Galaxy Room? Or like why are those galaxies from Grammy's Galaxy Room even in this whole society? As we know, um, we see already see stars in the whole society arc, and so we all know it's season like a planet around. And, um, for the galaxies, we early in the story already established Kubo himself that um, there's a galaxy in uh, World of the Living, and since Soul Society and World of the Living are like parallel to each other, it should also have a galaxy. On top of um, uh, the, when Grammy creates outer space, he has to like know about it and the properties of it. 
and um, we know that like galaxies and outer space can be located in the Garganta, since we, since we see like solar rippers can like breathe there. But when Kempachi gets transported there, he he like can breathe and stuff. Um, so yeah, this should mean that like those galaxies and stuff have to be like in both for the living cancel society. For the size of um, the galaxy room, we first take the radius of the galaxy, and I'm gonna be using Milky Way size for it. Then uh, we that to get meters per pixel, and uh, now we can get like this number for the diameter of the galaxy room, which is 3.466257 to the power of 28 meters. Uh, now that we have that, um, we first uh, can get the surface of the area of the Soul Society. And also using Milky Way as a low ball, we can get GB of it as well, which is gravitational binding energy. Now we can use inverse square law. Um, inverse square law means a law stating that um, intensity of an effect such as illumination or gravitational force changes in inverse proportion of the square uh, of the distance from the surface. Then we can put everything into a formula and we get 1.61283 the power of 154 joules which is universal heat this is not like just like bad universal this is like far far into like universal now for another way of scaling the same feed is uh, that soul society is infinite size so let's just get into that the most popular way to get that is via Mukan. so let's just get into it Nohana states, which I'm not gonna pronounce uh, since I'm not good at uh, Japanese pronunciations, but it translates to like the sound of it, uh, name suggests it holds a human size to infinity. Ken from World Volume 3 comments on Mukan with, with the same sentence that translates to infinite darkness above the jet black floor. This can be quantitative as infinitely describing the amount of darkness in a, a top of uh, the ground or in the, the prison which would imply an infinite size if infinite darkness was describing just a lack of light a phrase such as darkness above or a room void of light would be more appropriate but the fact that infinite is used describing everything with the prison it's an aim size and darkness uh, points to more than just a hyperbole. Darkness that have uh, a physical size, which as is demonstrated with each of his bankai, how he's able to steal an actual amount of darkness. Each of us was given a title, he who speaks the true name by Rayo. He's named the countless phenomena within soul society. I would classify um, an infinite space within soul society as a phenomenon. One of the names of this is Mugen, a prison, which means infinite and we know names often hold the power of significance. Each of is shown capable of applying his names to places as we see the false Reiki. For instance, uh, Battle Wiki currently accepts each of named um, everything in Soul Society as per his profile. Each of even says himself that he named everything existing in the Soul Society. For supporting each each by having name, the undergo prison, Mukan and Mugen. Even for more evidence for Mukan being killed is in the data books that Kubo himself acknowledges as a reliable source. In the Japanese version we have a statement that says spread infinitely and in the French one we have a sentence that says Mukan is a completely hermetic isolated world even in fast ex expense of which makes you dizzy. QR could suggest that obtaining that Kenpachi Zaraki be trained there by Unahana so that uh, she awakens him to his true power. The ultimate life-threatening tool which will continue until one of them is killed has just begun. 
even in the last episode of anime for Thousand Blood War, it's confirmed who can use infinite missiles. Now you might be asking, isn't that stated that Mukem is in another space or dimension? Yes, this is true, but just like the Soul Palace, it's still inside Soul Society as a realm. As well as we know that Mukem and Seretai are connected since when the destruction of Seretai and Dreo dying. Uh, the shaking was felt by Aizen from the Mukem. Another way Muskan is also decides to infinite is also being around the same size as what Kamunda also has many statements describing this as infinite in size. Another way Muskan Soul Society is also using Tangai, as we know that Soul Society is way bigger than Tangai, which is stated a couple of times to be a hyperspace. And hyperspace using dictionary is a space of more than three dimensions, making at least for this structure. Or if we use one of the other data proof statements saying that the um, Soul Palace is actually in a higher realm than the Saturday, which is still like inside Soul Society making um, um, Soul Society um, for the structure. So there's like a couple of different interpretations and backing for at least infinite 3D to 4D. So yeah, Moto the strong gate would make him universal plus. Now let's get into his speed scaling. We can easily get into MFDL plus based on calcs of even characters that are thousands of millions times slower. Him and using infinite uh, size society you can get infinite speed for Yamamoto since each area you have to cover infinite distance. Then you just apply the speed formula which speed distance over time. Now in the end, I guess I can go over uh, his hacks he has. He has hacks of every normal soul reaper, like soul manipulation because Zampacto can vaporize souls, which is a form of durability negation. He also has battlefield removal with Konzo, different versions of ceiling with types of Bakuda, affecting space time with Itokasa, fire and heat manipulation with his Zampactor, Yujin Jaka. Sleep manipulation is shown when he put Hinamori to sleep. Power nullification with higher Ryatsu. Durability negation resistance with higher Ryatsu. It, he, in his Bankai, he has existence erasure. As well as can summon 10 trillion dead soldiers to fight for him. And he has overpowered fire armor. In conclusion, Yamoto is similar from Universal to Universal Plus with MFDL Plus for infinite speed, insane hacks, and then the reach, yes, he's very strong. I hope you all enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments what you think and what kind of videos we'd like to see in the future. Um, the next video I'm actually doing is um, what all is like canon? For Bleach, just like there has been a lot of like discussions, it's like anime or movies under the novel scan, so I'll be like covering all that. Yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe, enjoy my Discord server, and see you in the next video.